everyone, and welcome to episode three. I am your host, Alanized, and this is Noche de Pendejadas. For everyone that's new, Noche de Pendejadas is a weekly episodic show that premieres every Wednesday on my IGTV at 7 p.m. PST, where I go ahead and bring your favorite influencers to Chisnean, have some cocktails, and see what the fuck they've been up to. If you've been up to date, obviamente se dieron cuenta que la semana pasada les traje a mi amiguita Joatzi y esta semana les traje a alguien as exciting. Please help me welcome tonight's guest, artist and resident of Magic City, MC Magic! Woo! What is up? Oh my God, you guys, deja les digo algo. I am so excited to have you. I'm honored to have you here. Thank you. I grew up listening to his music, you guys, y yo pienso que mucha gente que nos está mirando hoy también we were just talking earlier how you've been doing this for so long. Yes. 30 years. I started my record company in 1990. That's exactly 30 years. I was not even born yet. So when I reviewed your sexy lady palette and we did a FaceTime, everyone was going wild. Que, oh my God, bring MC Magic, bring MC Magic to Noche de Pendejadas. Saben que pendejas? Aquí se los traje. And I'm so excited. So para todas las pendejas que nos están mirando hoy that probably have not heard of you, are not familiar with MC Magic, what would you describe yourself? Or just give them a brief introduction of who you are. You know, I would say like, uh, like I'm a low income. I used to live in the projects, right? So a kid that grew up in public housing, chases dreams of making music. And the, the music just ended up becoming a staple in the Chicano culture. And I feel like that's true. It's amazing. You know, I feel like I go way back and I feel like you know, as a gay male, I feel like that was like one of the ways I was able to connect with my brothers and my sisters because they loved your music. Absolutely. So I would be there in the back trying to fit in like sexy lady with the pretty, you know, so I could feel acceptance and I feel like his music you guys if you guys have not heard his music obviamente están viviendo bajo una roca because i feel like it has become a staple in the latino yes. chicano community yes. how do you feel about that how like how I'm, does that make you feel i'm supremely proud it makes me feel good and i do like how the uh, the chicano culture has grown you know back in the day it was not as popular to be a brown person and now you know you have all the chicano memes the chicano pages the chicano movement all the the hot cheetos the the mazapan all that stuff is like almost mainstream culture. Yes. You know, for sure. I feel like, you know, in ese tiempo, I feel like a lot of people were scared to be who you are. And I feel like you were yeah. truly, especially in music, I feel like you were a trailblazer Thank in you. what you were doing. I feel like that's why you got so big because there wasn't a lot of people doing what he was doing. Ya que saben quien chingados es MC Magic, you guys. We're gonna move on to your favorite section, which is the chisme. A mi gente le gusta el chisme. They like to know what's up with my guests. And you know what? Se los vamos a dar, you guys. So now it is time time for a little segment here on my Noche de Pendejada show called Chisme and Cocktails. Good. Como pueden ver, aquí producción nos trajo dos vasitos de agua. Y ya sé lo que van a decir. Ahora agarra uno. Que, why are you guys drinking water? ¿Por qué agua? This is supposed to be cocktails. But you don't drink. I've never been drunk or high one day in my life. Ever? Never. Oh my God, that's so crazy. That's a trip to me because, you know, not to be stereotypical, but I would have expected you to yeah, at least yeah. drink. Or, so never. No, never. Never not one drop of alcohol. No, well, you mean, I, I've, uh, I've taken communion. I've taken, uh, I've taken uh, the wine in church. I've drank... What do you call it? Um, champagne? Never, never to empedarte. Okay, so today, you guys, I just had a rough weekend and I'm like, you know what? I cannot drink either porque ya de estar de pedo como que ya me cansé, you guys. So we're gonna do a little cheer. Pa' arriba, pa', pa abajo, pa el centro y pa' adentro. Oh my God. Oh, that's a good water. So, la primera pregunta que te tenemos esta noche. For those of you that don't know, MC Magic recently dove into the world of cosmetics. And as of right now, you have two palettes. I have two on sale. With, with the one that's on pre-sale, we have three. And before Christmas, I'm dropping the four. You're in the whole cosmetics world, you guys. But I feel like when you announced that you were gonna be in the cosmetics mm -hmm. world, I feel like a lot of your fans and just a lot of people in general were very confused. You know, oh. why is MC Magic dropping, you know, makeup? So what is your reasoning or what made you dive into making cosmetics? I thought about that. I thought about that. And, and I think all my life I've been catering to women. And it's just an extension of my music because all my music, is about empowering women, calling them pretty girls, sexy lady with the lovely brown eyes, girl I love you more than anything in this whole world. And makeup does that for, yes. for the girls. Not only that, I've been catering to women all my life. I've got six sisters and zero.
zero brothers. It was it was a natural progression for me. As soon as I seen Rosie from uh, Lucky Lashes name her palette Lost in Love, a light went off in my head. I'm like, I got a thousand song titles. And I was always the type to be a fan of girls mm -hmm. that sat there, you know, doing their makeup tutorials, the eyeliner, the all that eyeshadow, good stuff. Everything. If I could, I'd put, I'd put, I'd put the, the wings <laughs> on me, but my wife would kick my ass. <laughs> So, para todos los que no han visto, you guys, we have the Sexy Lady palette, which is named after a very iconic song of yours. Yes. Sexy lady with the pretty brown eyes. Yes. Let me know if you're down to ride. So, así es como se mira esta paleta, you guys. And then I recently got that one. That's the one that uh, that Lucky Lashes put out and the one that inspired me to dive in full force. So, this one is his Lost in Love palette, you guys. And I don't know, I just feel like the whole aesthetic screams you. It is. I designed it myself as well. Okay. Okay. Uh, everything from the photo shoot to the, the font that we're listening to. So you're very involved. I'm 100% in it, you know? And it's exciting. Like, I get excited to yes. create a new palette. Like, which one's gonna be next? All my life, girl, I love you forever. <laughs> With makeup, you know, I feel like being a straight boy in the makeup world, you guys, I feel like you probably have gotten criticism from maybe not like other artists, but maybe your fans. You know what? It's like anything else. If you love it and it feels organic and real, who cares what the pendeja say? Exactly. Right? I feel like if you're making cosmetics, you guys, that does not define your sexuality. He's doing this for his fans. I'm catering to my fans. And not only that, because it's titled after my songs, it's yet reintroducing my music to newer to the generations. Newer, yes. It's a win-win. So just keeping it 100%, Set. you know? Yeah. It's crazy that you're doing makeup because yo pienso que uno como artista y alguien que ya tiene muchos años de carrera, yeah. I feel like siempre tiene que start trabajando and coming up with new yeah. stuff. So as far as music, are you currently working on anything new? If so, what are things that go into the process of making music? Get the speed up. What really gets you out to be like, okay, you know what? I'm gonna, I have this idea and I'm gonna go with it and make a song. Okay, let me tell you something, Alan. My whole life, I've always dreamed big. And that's why I have the sweaters that are called Dream Big. And one of my big dreams was to have one of my songs go worldwide. Now we've talked about how my stuff has been successful in the Chicano world. And one of my dreams is to have a big record. When I say a big record, I'm talking Ed Sheeran, Adele, mainstream, yes. you know, a world, uh, international. So with that in mind, my little record company, Nasty Boy Records, we signed a new artist, a little Mexican girl from El Central California. Her name is Jaylene and we call her Jay Rocks with three X's at the end. And so Jay Rock, we just finished recording her entire album. Her and I wrote the album together, every single song. And we just filmed her, her first music video last week. We're gonna drop two music videos on the same day, the day that we introduce her. And I'm so excited excited about it like I could feel my heart Aww. going boom 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 because it's one of those projects that we put so much love and detail into it you know as you were saying you want to go worldwide so you wouldn't mind it if it's not one of your songs as long as it's one of your artists it's, it's, been, it's one of my projects yeah, it's a so nasty boy saying, records okay, master that, that's when you see when you're genuinely doing something because there's a lot of artists that are like no I want something to go worldwide but I want me to be the voice well I am on her album but it doesn't it doesn't matter to me if it's a song that's just hers because we made the songs together mm -hmm. so they're both of us. Yeah, it's What's your that? project. You were just as invested yeah. as she is. He's been around for so long and I feel like you will accomplish that. You know, mark my word, you guys, MC Magic will be worldwide. You know, I always thought you were worldwide. I grew up in the Latino community. Mm -hmm. So like, of course, you know, everybody idolized him. It was like, oh my God, MC Magic, yeah, yeah. MC Magic. So it's crazy that you don't see yourself as like a worldwide artist. Yeah, I don't. And you know, a lot of people look at me and they say, wow, you've so successful. You've had so many years. And to them, I am like, like from here, I'm right here. But when I look at myself, I'm like, well, Jay-Z's here though. So fuck it, let's keep going up. You know what I'm saying? This is all I do, Alan. You know, my music, my makeup, my my my, uh, my concerts. And right now concerts are down, so I've got lots of time to make new palettes. We all know that you're an OG artist. You've been doing this for so long. And I feel like at this point, you're like a living legend. Amen. I feel like usually legends are when they die, but I feel like you have such a legacy that you're still alive and you're a legend. I feel like, you know, especially in our community, people see you that way. And I feel like your fans are super, super loyal to you for having so many years of a career, do you see a big change or drift with the way you have to connect with your followers as opposed to the way you did back then? Well, I love social media. Even though I just saw that movie called uh. The Social Dilemma, which shows how the companies that run social media are doing some evil things just so that we're more addicted to it. That's fine with me because I'm disciplined enough to be like, I'm not gonna, I haven't posted yet today at all on Instagram. Hey. Well, sometimes yeah, you feel addicted to it, but yeah. I got so many things going on. And I think that's the most important that today's parents need to teach their kids. Look, social
social media is great when you can do something great with it. I love social media because my career, after radio stopped playing my songs, it started going like this. And when YouTube came out and my video Sexy Lady got on there, all of a sudden I started coming back up again. I'm like, what is this? What is yeah. this? And so when MySpace hit and everyone had my songs as their top eight, oh my God. Woo! I was like, let's go. Social media has been good to me. It's made me stay relevant. There's been a change though, because I feel like social media, you know, the algorithms and everything's always changing. Do you feel like there's been a big change that has affected you? Or do you feel like you always have to keep up with like the new trends? Well, I know that the world is always changing. The companies that own Instagram, Facebook, Snapchat, all that, TikTok, they're always changing too, because they're always trying to maximize their bottom line. And what I tell my manager, sometimes he'll get mad and he'll say, man, fuck the algorithm today. They're fucking me over blah, blah, blah. and I'm like just remember you don't own the platform yes. and it's not yours if you're letting somebody borrow your platform as a user of their platform I'm gonna appreciate what they give me it's not like I can come to your house and be like Mi sister's carne asada, no quiero pinche carne. <laughs> right yeah, no, yeah, for it's sure. their platform even though they're giving you a profile learn that it's theirs and then like Gary Vee says use it take it for whatever you can and then go to the next because it's always gonna be a next yeah no for sure I feel like I mean just with the rise of TikTok, you know there's like these new apps that are coming up Siempre hay una cosa nueva, so I feel like you've done such a good job with keeping yourself on social media because yeah. there's artists that have been doing what you're doing for such a long time, but when you're like, oh, you have to make an Instagram, they mm -hmm. get discouraged, like, no, yeah. I'm not gonna do that. I didn't have a TikTok until this Yesterday. year. I started a TikTok like in May, I think. Okay. In May of this year, you know, people were telling me TikTok is the place, TikTok is the place. So I posted a couple of TikTok challenges. Boom, all of a sudden we have 100,000 followers. So I'm yeah. like, all right, let's go. Let's ticky ticky talk talk. Yeah. yeah, they laugh at me because I go, how do you re -talk something and they're like retalk is not a thing <laughs> i'm trying to retalk mc magic has really made himself a staple in our community and i feel like it's crazy what you've done you're just gonna keep going you know even though you have such a long time doing it i feel like you're just it's just gonna go up from here when you love something, it shows. Ya lo pudieron conocer, right? And I feel like your audience and my audience was able to see more of the way you think mm -hmm. because it's sometimes different seeing the artist and the music yeah. than when you really ask them the questions of how they think, you know? And I know you guys are asking, oh my God, Alan, are you guys gonna do a challenge? What challenge are you guys gonna do? Pero déjales digo algo, pendejas. Hoy no vamos a tener ningún wheel of pendejadas today because it is a special episode. Mr. MC motherfucking magic is gonna With a life 
with a beat that slow, I'ma make you lose control. Let me touch through private places, home run hit like four bases, making all them pretty faces. Damn girl, you drive me crazy. I won't stop till the pennies drop. Foggy rooms in the parking lot, Holiday in all the Marriott. Dimming no get us cause I'm making real hot. Still wide awake, writing letters to you, girl. But I throw them all away because I, I wanna show you what I feel for you. But these words and this paper just ain't good enough for you. How can I prove to you that, girl, you live inside my mind, and I can see your pretty face every time I close my eyes. Something about the way we met, the day we met, I can't forget. I play this song again and again, and I, I tell myself that one day you gon' be my special queen. Convince myself you feel the same way for me. Met, it feels so right, it's going down Tell me, can I talk to you? Girl, where do you come from? No chip in the colors With all in That was such a performance. Thank you so much. You're welcome. Thank, thank you for you. having me. Thank you, guys. Yo sé que ustedes lo disfrutaron, and I hope you guys really enjoyed this little segment with Mr. MC Magic singing for us. Ahora ya que lo escucharon cantar, you guys, and I'm sure you guys watching at home were singing along. What is next for MC Magic? Is there more music coming? Is there more palettes coming? I am working on a new MC Magic album, yes, but I also have two new palettes in the making. This one's called Pretty Girl. So Something cute. about Watch this pretty girl. Blows my mind. Woo! So you guys can pre-order this where? Nastyboyrecords.com. We also got the Mamacita. Ooh. This is the Mamacita palette. It's exciting because it's all glitter. You see when you look at it, it's all glitter. And inside it's all glitter. Oh That's going to be out before Christmas. If you guys want to go ahead and check out these palettes, you guys, as well as the already existing two palettes, you guys can go ahead over to nastyboyrecords.com para que se los consiga. So thank you so much for being on today's show, for performing for us, for everything you've done. If you guys want to go ahead and get caught up with MC Magic, you guys can do so on his social medias, which yes. are MC Magic Official. Also, don't forget to follow me on all my social media so you guys can keep up with Noche de Pendejadas. Also, don't forget to head over to my YouTube channel. Thank you so much for being on today's Thank you, episode. Alan. God bless you and continued success on Noche thank de Pendejadas. You. Thank you. I'll see you guys on next week's episode. Bye, guys.